how is your modified Gerson different than the traditional Gerson? So the traditional Gerson pro protocol is to do 13 glasses of juice every day. Um, so basically a glass of juice every waking hour um, for the most part, doing five coffee enemas a day, um, and then there's some nutritional pieces that were added to that too. Now, Gerson is from Max Gerson, uh, who wrote several very good books on cancer. I'd highly recommend them. Uh, but remember, all his work with cancer patients was done back in the 1930s and 40s and 50s. Now, Charlotte has kept up his work on a marvelous basis. What we have found with the Gerson protocol is, um, first of all, it can be juicing, okay? Juicing and doing a Gerson protocol can be really good if your cancer is not fed through glycolysis. Um, so if it is fed through glycolysis, if you're juicing in carrot juice, you're, it's very high in nutrient value, um, but it's also very high in glucose. So you can't really do a Gerson type protocol if your cancer is fed mainly through glycolysis. Um, the other issue that we have with Gerson is that it becomes very difficult to follow. So um, we've had patients come in the office literally bawling in tears that they, that they feel so ashamed that they cannot continue their Gerson protocol that they started prior to coming to us. Um, so um, can a Gerson protocol, full protocol, juicing 13 glasses a day, doing five co coffee enemas be helpful? Yes. I don't see that as real sustainable. You almost have to hire a maid uh, or have multiple extended family members doing grocery shopping for you, juicing for you. Just the physical ability to do that, it limits everything else in life. And if that's the last, uh, you know, Hail Mary pass that we have to try to save life, that's great. And to do that for a period of time, that might be necessary and it might be appropriate. <clears throat> but in our clinic and in my life, I'm trying to balance, um, you know, healing uh, and with respect for that person and respect for the quality of life they have. And to me, um, it, it's real easy to make an idol out of your healing if you are consumed with the task that you have to do in a given day to hopefully heal from the cancer. And doing a full Gerson protocol could be life consuming um, and it kind of defeats the purpose of why you want to heal the cancer so that you can live life if you can't live life. Now I understand if I have to do this for three months and this is going to give me another 10 years of life, well, goodness sakes, we're all, uh, let's do the three months of doing Gerson. But um, um, it's not everybody that has that experience. It could just be draining on their life. So it can be a good program for people. It's not a good program for everybody just like anything else. And we want to make sure that we're not consumed and make an idol out of our, he our healing um, and that we are no good for anybody.